Trello is a great way to communicate with a team of people to organize things and to even organize it for yourself. So let me kind of show you what this is all about. I'm just going to go ahead to Trello.com and then I'm going to go ahead and log in. Obviously, if you're new, you would have to um, log in and create an account. I'm just going to go ahead and log in here. And so this is what it looks like. And here's uh, a couple of my workspaces, some people that I'm working with. But I'm just going to go to the Untitled board um, to create a new one or to kind of show you. And to get started, you could just kind of create right here and you can create a board. Okay, you could also start with a template. But let's say if I went to this Untitled board, um, I can see that here's like things to do. And then let's say it's the main character. Then I could say I'm creating the main character and then I'm done. Or if I wanted to be more specific, I could say, hey, I'm modeling the main character, then I'm texturing them, then I'm rigging them, and then an animation. And if I wanted to add more, I could just click on add another one. So I could say now rendering and then maybe, um, you know, complete. Okay. And then I could keep moving this card along until it's in the complete zone. Okay. Now, let's say if I wanted to add another character, I could just click on add card and then I could call this, um, you know, uh, environment. And now I have that card, so then I can move this along, okay, however far I want. So once again, if you're working with a team of people, this could be really powerful. I'll show you some examples of some that I have. So if I go back to Trello, uh, here's one uh, that I'm working with on a cartoon. These are the assets still needed, the environments that are still needed, um, some of the effects that we're going to need to do. Uh, here's reference that are ready, okay, and assets that are started, assets that are complete, and um, even for 3D printing. And, and you can see that whatever your needs are, you can kind of put that as a new thing. So let's say if I was had the dinosaur ready to go, I could move him over to re reference ready, and that way when my client logs in, he can see, oh, hey, the dinosaur's ready to go. And then let's say if he starts working on that, I can he can move it over here. And then when I log into this, I can see that the dinosaur is ready to go. Instead of once again emailing back and forth or trying to communicate that another way, I feel like it's really easy to see all these things. Okay, so if I wanted to add something else, let's say a third dinosaur, I could just click on add card. And I can say dinosaur three. Okay, so it's really easy to add whatever you need to. Um, and then I can click on this little pencil and I can, you know, edit the card. I could open the card up and then if I needed to have a description of more information, I could. Um, and or if I can, um, you know, I could just delete this card, whatever I need to do. Here's an example of one that has a little bit more description. So if I click on this, um, you know, messy hair lab coat and goggles, that's what she needs. If I go to Floyd, he needs uh, unicorn underwear and his arm to be on fire. Um, so you can kind of make those notes as far as like whatever you need to. So these cards can hold a lot of information. Um, and I feel like once again, it communicates to a team really well. If I go to um, the VR club, okay, this is with a ton of people working on this and I can see that here's even some brainstorming ideas. When I click on this you can see that just kind of writing that in the description there. But then even also some references kind of importing images as kind of things to talk about and start kind of a discussion. Also I can see here um, you know adding a card. Here's our things that are still needed. I can kind of see that Here's things that are kind of been being worked on, some testing um, in Unreal. But once again, a very cool thing. Now, if you want to invite people, I can see 57 people are working on this board, but I could invite and I could uh, put their email in or I could just create a link and now I can copy that link or download this QR, QR code and then I could send that link or um, invite someone and when they click on that link, now they're in 
connected to this Trello board. Okay, so it's really easy to connect people. Um, and you can see kind of this custom background here. If I go to um, back to Trello, I can go to templates here. And when I'm creating a board for the first time, you can see I could choose different designs. Okay, different, um, you know, different things that just make the board look a little bit, you know, more exciting. And um, here's some different uh, templates there. So once again, back to boards. So whatever, whatever you really want to use it for. And I can see that here's my workspace right now. And I could create, um, looks like seven more boards remaining. Okay. And um, I could just click on that and to start a new board, share that with whoever. And hopefully that helps to really speed up your workflow. Um, or I shouldn't say speed up your workflow, more organize your workflow, right? If you're working with a ton of people, I think Trello can be a very valuable resource.